2019. We are here with Karsten Zalewski, well, boss boss of Viscom AG, one would hope. Um, 2019, almost over. Was it a good one, a successful one for Viscom? Uh, 2019 is not over yet. Uh, we still have a lot of machines to ship. Overall, I think uh, we had more like a sidestep year, which we knew very early on that there wouldn't be like huge growth, especially in automotive electronics. Uh, we see that overall uh, car sales worldwide is a little bit down compared to mm. last year. The forecast is even for next year pretty much a, a, a flat year. But uh, but we invest in, in new technologies and we have other other growth uh, mainly in consumer high end consumer electronics. Mm. Uh, communication, everything that has to do with 5G, and we see battery inspection, uh, where we already have uh, experience in the last five years mm -hmm. as a new market with the growing electromobility. And you would actually see, uh, especially battery systems and, and test systems, uh, something of a growth market for you in 2020 and beyond. Yeah, our our inline X-ray inspection, mainly for PCBs, mm -hmm. uh, solder joint inspection, is a good basis also for other um, X-ray inspection uh, mm -hmm. tasks and uh, batteries. If it's the micro batteries, the round mm -hmm. cells, the pouch cells, that is stuff where we where we need to look inside. Is if anode and cathode, the mm -hmm. distance. If there's a short circuit, then disaster happens, mm -hmm. and that's always good for inspection. <laughs> Well, it's one way. <laughs> it's one way of looking at it. Uh, we also talked a little bit about, uh, you know, different uh, market regions when it comes to growth. You said uh, China was a surprisingly strong growth market for you. The, the, the inland China market. It's it's uh, we Is we won we won many new mm -hmm. Chinese customers, yeah. and that's because of uh, of the international. I don't want to say trade Dynamics. war, but mm. the, the the trade issues that, yeah. that happen. So Chinese becomes more independent, uh, tries to become more independent mm. even quicker than the 2025 uh, yeah. plan uh, was uh, in place. And and so we, we actually sell a lot now to Chinese mm. customers in automotive electronics uh, for the Asian market. Mm. Um, same time, I mean, we have uh, big customers, uh, key accounts who who are very active in China and, and, mm. and they are holding back a little bit because of the uncertainty of, uh, of international politics mm. right now. So we, we expect a stable or flat year in, in automotive electronics, but growth in other areas, uh, as I said, in communication and batteries and mm. so on. One more question. We, we talked like a few years back with Mr. Papa about uh, counterfeit. Very big issue in China or used to be a very big one. If Viscom now gains an awful lot of Chinese customers, mm. will that issue sort of not necessarily disappear, but you know, <laughs> slow down a little bit for Viscom, or is it still the best will be always copied? So I mean, counterfeit parts is, is one thing we, mm. we are not really affected by it as a company. I know that in the pick and place market, it's it's a little yes. bit different. With us, uh, I think with our end customers making high quality electronics uh, for let's say even Japanese automotive or so, there's, there's no counterfeit really uh, a big issue. Mm -hmm. And one good thing is um, I'm, you know, I'm active in IPC and IPC has a lot of standardization which allows actually to produce high quality electronics worldwide. Mm -hmm. So IPC is becoming more and more a global uh, standardization company which is very well known in China and very active. So that, that helps us as a supplier to make sure that you know, we uh, we deliver test systems to international standards so that you can make electronics everywhere. Perfect. That's the perfect uh, place to stop. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you uh, very Good much. luck with the well, last two days. <laughs> and uh, we see you next year. Yeah, thank you for coming. See you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.